about to challenge Anthony Joshua for the IBF WBA heavyweight crowns has said that when he fought back when he fought Vladimir Klitschko he wasn't prepared he was too young he claims he was too young and he wasn't prepared the problem with that is Kurek Pulev was like 33 years old when he fought Vladimir Klitschko he was 33 years old he wasn't no prospect and he was a guy who had an, an extensive amateur uh, record. And he was also a guy that, like I said, uh, had an extensive amateur record. And was like, what, 20 and 0? Something like that, 20 and 0? He was undefeated. I mean, if he's going around saying that he was too green for someone like Deon, I mean, excuse me, for someone like Vladimir Klitschko. What does that make of uh, Anthony Joshua? Because when Anthony Joshua fought Vladimir Klitschko, he was he was even way less experienced than someone like Kurat Pulev. Because Anthony Joshua, going into the Klitschko fight, had only been uh, didn't have uh, the amateur experience that Kurat Pulev had, and he only had like 19 professional fights. You know what I'm saying? He was very green. And he was even younger. He was far younger than someone like uh, Kurat Pulev. So, I think the reality is, the reason... So, he was basically using that as an excuse as to why he lost to Vladimir Klitschko. I think the reality is, the reason he really lost to Vladimir Klitschko is because he just wasn't as good as Vladimir Klitschko. Because he got destroyed against Vladimir Klitschko. He didn't just lose to Vladimir Klitschko. Kurat Pulev got destroyed by Vladimir Klitschko. That was easy work. Just compare that to when Anthony Joshua fought. Now, Anthony Joshua struggled, but he de but he was able to win rounds against Klitschko and, of course, eventually stop him. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like uh, Kurat Pulev fought a uh, prime Vladimir Klitschko either because some people might say, well, the only reason Anthony Joshua... Uh, so let me kill these zombies. The only reason Anthony Joshua was able to beat Klitschko and Kurat Pulev wasn't was because uh, Pulev fought a, a more prime Klitschko. Well, he fought him just, what, two and a half years earlier than Anthony Joshua? So it wasn't like he was... It, it wasn't like it was like a 10-year difference between when Anthony Joshua fought... Vladimir Klitschko and Kurat Pulev fought Vladimir Klitschko. I think the reality is that he just the, the reason uh, Anthony uh, Kurat Anthony Joshua lost. I mean Kurat Pulev lost was because he was just in there. He just couldn't compete with Klitschko. Uh, I have said this several times. I don't think he could compete. He's going to be able to beat. Uh, Anthony Joshua. I think Anthony Joshua is going to destroy him, to be honest. Uh, I've never been impressed by uh, Kurat Pulev. I just haven't. Uh, he has no punching power. You need punching power to have Anthony Joshua respect you. Kurat Pulev doesn't have that, unfortunately. He's really feather fisted. Uh, you know, a lot of Kurat Pulev has. And my original channel used to get mad at me when I used to say shit like that about Kurat Pulev. But, uh, you know, that's just my opinion. You don't have to, like, get all offended uh, just because I think Kurat Pulev is not as good as people think he is. I mean, I think he's decent. Uh, I'm not saying he's a bum. I'm not saying that. But I, I just, I'm also not saying I think he's, like, some elite level dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh... <laughs> That's what people need to understand when it comes to me and uh, Kurat Pulev. I'm not saying he's a bum, but I'm also not saying he's above average, you know, but he's like, he's basically not a bum. Dude, he, I was going to kill him. He's basically like in between a bum and a average heavyweight. But uh, yeah, he's nothing great. 
or anything like that. They started the ritual, but yeah, uh, I was gonna go in here. Um, what you gonna call it? Yeah, I just think Kurepulov is gonna get destroyed by Anthony Joshua. He should. Uh, he should, dude. He should. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, I'm gonna kill you, dude. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. Uh, what the hell? Oh. That's all I have to say, guys. Thanks for watching.